Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm back with another 3D printing video. So let's get crack. We are starting on my website, hlmodtech.com. I've got a tab dedicated to 3D printers, and you'll notice a brand new link to the Artillery SWX4 Pro. Now, currently, this has one video. It is how to assemble and level in about 15 minutes. We have also got a link to the website. I'll show you where that is. As you can see, when we get here, there is a support tab. And then I want to highlight today the download. If for some reason you could not find your manual or your USB stick, they are all right here. There are also firmware updates. And then today what I'm looking for is the slicing software. Now it is on the USB stick, but just in case, I wanted to see if there was a newer version as well. My PC is using Windows, so I'm going to grab this one right here. Almost immediately, it switches to a download link. And we can save it to our computer. I will put mine in my downloads folder. And just like that, it is complete. Let's double click and install. Note we get a Windows protected your PC because it does not know this app. I'm going to hit more info and I'm going to choose run anyway. I will allow it to make changes. And next, I'll accept the default and let it do its thing. And finally, click Finish. Friends, with that installed, I'm going to return to a desktop view. And right here is Artillery Slicer. Let's double click and get in it for the first time. And this is where we find out it is related to Prusa Slicer. That's, of course, on this screen, we choose Other Vendors. And we need Artillery. We're going to pick Artillery FFF. And if we look right down here, Artillery Sidewinder X4 Pro. Now we can click Next. I am going to just hit next on this page, and then we want to choose the X4 Pro, and it shows us to do all and all and all to bring those in. And then, of course, hit next. We do want automatic updates on, and I will allow it to update built-in presets, so we can finally click finish. Friends, I'm back on my website, and I want to show you the centimeter cube. This is a file you can download. It is the simple cube that I always start printing with. It helps you get good results on your first print, so then you can move on to more epic projects. So that's the part that I want to load. I'm going to click File, and I'm going to choose Import to grab my project. I'm going to bring in an STL that is in metric format. All of my prints are in my 3D modeling folder. I'm going to find that one a little cute a little quicker by going to the search and I have a one and a C in front of it because that helps me search for it even faster. Once I open it, we have got the tiny cube inside the slicer. This is awesome because it goes quick, lets you know if you've got your printer set up right before you move on to bigger and better projects. We are not going to be using ABS. We want to switch filament and use PLA and I saw an HS on the package label so we're going to use PLA HS. If you're interested in learning more about these, you can come over to this tab, click on them, and you'll be able to switch just like this to see what the settings are for each one. The main ones that you worry about are the temperature of the nozzle and the bed. I'm going to switch quickly to the print settings. Notice this is going to print with 0.2 millimeter layers. First layer is 0.25. It'll have three perimeters. It is not a spiral vase. On the top, we will have five solid layers. On the bottom, we will have three. And the seam position is the rear and it has fuzzy skin. Of course, you can also adjust your infill. Right now it's 5%. Notice right now we've got zero skirt and we've got zero brim. I'm going to try and run it like that. And then I also want to note that I do not need any support material for this project. And now I'm going to plug in the included USB disk. Once that connects, let's export the G-code. Notice that was drive F, so I'm going to switch to drive F. It'll be called One Cube PLA High Speed. Finally, save changes. Notice we have the exporting finished and I can eject it. Let's take it over to the 3D printer. Two quick fixes before we get going. This cable should not be hanging this low. The first fix is to get this cable up in the air. Shout out to Goes2012 for giving me a heads up. This was dragging below before. Now I have taken one of the twist ties that came with the printer and I've just twist tied this to the loop so that way it cannot sag that far. Friends, I had this attached vertically, which is not correct. 
Now in order to switch it, I am pulling it all the way back through because I don't want to waste any of the filament. It's really pretty silly though, you should just snip it and start over. And then this edge connects right here. You can see that screw lines up super simple. And then this will dangle out front the exact way you would want for your filament to come down. And after all that crazy work, boom, ready for 3D printing. And now everything is set up the way it's supposed to be. All right, everybody, so here we have it. Moment of truth, plugged in. This is our print button. If we go to SDA1, there is our one cube. It gives us a preview, and go figure, it looks like a cube. Let's hit print. The bed took about three minutes to heat up. I will likely try to preheat things before my next print. Here I'll let you get a listen to what it sounds like when it starts up. Some of that noise is actually repeating in my house, but at least it gives you an idea what kind of noise you'll get with the SWX4 Pro. I am also moving this to a more stable table for the next point as well. And here we are all finished. Friends, scraper, barely needed. It was that gentle. Of course, I'm also that clumsy. But after about five minutes, we've got our awesome little cube printed. Few quick thoughts. Love how even this came out. And I'm looking forward to the next cool prints with the SWX4 Pro. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.